Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Gerald Cooper in the French Cap 2 v 2 And look at the cross. The clouds blow already. That little kid is his point. It's level point. Look at the rotation. Hesitation roll. Pulling up. Looking all the time now to see how, where the cloud is. So he's managing to make a tremendous amount of height there. Look at that. Rolling in the vertical. I think he's going to go for a top roll. There he is. Stop momentarily. And now look at that, oh a beautiful torque roll, it's half a fuselage, it's a whole fuselage, it's a fuselage and a half, he's almost got the two rotations going backwards, absolutely amazing, I and mean, then even the model aircraft are pressed through this, look at the rate of rotation, a flick roll pulling back hard on the stick, stalling the aircraft dynamically with his foot of rudder to the right. And he says, OK, well, that's how fast I can roll. Look how slowly I can roll. And look at these hesitation rolls. Tremendous uh, amount of precision. And again, using all the axes out there, not just the up and down of the forearm. There it is. That's a cap lomshaback. Pushing the stick forward, the aircraft starts to tumble and fly sideways again, those aileron rolls, with a little bit of a flick fed in on the way down. So they're half flick, half rolls. Very clever stuff. But you can see how low he's got already. Rolling, turning, up on the V-axis there, up to the vertical, rolling in the vertical, a little bit of cloud there, he's right on the edge of it, so he can obviously see that much better than we can down here, but I can see it drifting down below him. And he pushes, that's called a Humpty, and inverted. And flight, can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? He just pitch nose down, only went a fuselage, and now he's rotated right through 360 degrees without using any sky at all. That is extraordinary. What a power to rate ratio. Three bladed empty propeller. Again, a big engine. It's an air cooled engine. He's running about 300 horsepower. Here's one of these rolling circles, turning and rolling at the same time. Requires great coordination. And look at the way he feeds the stick in and roll and stop and roll and stop. The airplane just hanging on the propeller there. Tremendous power to weight ratio. Stall and pull. Looking down to the ground. Switch on the smoke. These are all the kinds of maneuvers that we put together in the freestyle. Arrest the aerobatics is where you do that. Oh, he's disappeared in the cloud. <laughs> I hope you can see where he's going. And again, that climbing flick roll to hold the aircraft. Almost at a dead stop. There it is, just hanging on the propeller. And just talking away, rolling to inverted. That is very, very clever stuff indeed. For those of you uh, who are aero modelers, you'll know even as an aero modeler how tricky this is. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. I've not seen him do that at that height for a very long time. The aircraft fully stalled, inverted, but totally under control. Now, the best of the best say in a world-class freestyle, which this is, that in fact the pilot is flying the aeroplane 99% of the time. I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Cooper is one of the few people flying world-class freestyle who I say is flying the aeroplane 100% of the time. Usually, there's a little bit of edge where the aeroplane is doing its own thing and you kind of follow it through and see what happens. Gerald never lets that happen. And that inverted stall I must talk to him about was very, very clever indeed. Here he is. Coming in on the left. Now what he's doing, and he's gone into the cloud again. What he's trying to do is to find patches in the cloud. I don't believe this. Look, he's coming in and out of cloud. Imagine what he's trying to see on the ground, keeping visual, keeping orientated with the display line. There we are, climbing up in the vertical again. And that's the yaw, and back in the cloud. Straight pushing the nose down there because he wanted to see where he's going. Tremendous aerobatics at really very low level. Though. These kinds of rotations you don't want to mess with, particularly low near the ground. Now I hope again he can see where he is when he pops out of that cloud. I can hear him taking the power off. And look at that for orientation. How does he do that? He's got no instrumentation of the cockpit at all. And it's certainly not hang on and hope. Absolutely fabulous. Gerald Cooper. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Unlimited aerobatic champion of the UK. Place seven in the world. And the last World Aerobatic Championships were held right here in the UK at Silverstone last year.
The Cap 232 is an amazing machine, rather interesting, it's a wooden aircraft, quite unlike the others, so it's very, very light, doesn't have the same metal fatigue on, there he is again, hanging on the propeller, French design, going through the movery factories of the Cap 10, and so on and so forth, the Cap 232 is considered to be a part of the Zipco Edge in America, the fastest rolling aircraft in the world. And, ju and just to prove the point, incredibly fast, incredibly slow. That's so much a part of Joel's demonstration. Well, I think he's going to give us one more run, and then I believe he's more than uh, done his bit to entertain us here this afternoon. Yes, he's going to come around. He's doing these rolling circles, keeping an eye on the cloud all the time so the door doesn't shut behind him to get back into Bournemouth Aircraft. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, coming in from the left. One last run, I think. A super slow roll. He says, if I can do it fast, I can do it slow as well. Look at that. Great stuff. Thank you very much indeed, Gerald. He's looking down at us. Give him a big wave, ladies and gentlemen. He knows you're here. He's the third flyer. We've put it together. Good old flying circus. He's not had enough. <laughs> Ooh, a couple, a reward, a little bit like a necktie. You can imagine it, the aircraft is rotating around its own color. It's gyroscopic, initiated with rather the your precessors in the direction of rotation of the propeller. And just to remind you aficionados, of course, gyroscopic maneuvers are a function of RPM, not of airspeed. Control. Aerodynamically superb, the aircraft of course, it can roll at almost no speed at all. The ailerons there that make the aircraft roll on the wings, they're almost full span. Look at that, up into the vertical, hanging just a hundred feet above the ground. Onto knife edge, hesitation knife edge, and roll. Well, 